Okay. First, I want to talk about the ice prophecy. It's supposed to be a lot of ice going to happen in the uh, southern part of Ohio. Uh, some of this ice was a couple of feet thick and some places thicker. <clears throat> And uh, down around Cincinnati and places like that, along that region of the United States. Um, I just saw this just this past um, year, Pro probably. I don't know. I got a I got a video on about it. You can go and look. It's it's probably around July, August, somewhere like that. Uh, the Lord gave me that dream. But this year is certainly starting out to be exactly like that. It's getting to be, uh, we had a lot of ice here. Uh, the roads were really slick. And it seems to me like that it, this is setting a precedent of exactly what it's going to do. And uh, it's going to just keep having a repeat of this thing. Things are out of balance. And that's... That's sort of what I want to talk about because um, a long time ago um, the Lord showed me a miracle. He, he used me to do a miracle. And I was the only person there. I can't really prove this to anybody. You know, I can just tell you what I saw with my eyes and uh, what I witnessed uh, being in this miracle. Uh, it was there was a drought. It hadn't rained for a long time, and it was hot. And uh, <clears throat> I was outside cleaning the yard and picking up old sticks and stuff. I had a bunch of stuff to burn. And uh, it it'd been cloudy. It was cloudy that day, and it'd been cloudy a few times before that. And there was the cloud was just coming, hanging. It wouldn't. Said no water, you know. They just hang over the ground, and, and uh, I don't know if you ever seen that happen, but it was in southern or it was in northern Indiana. Probably is back in during the 1990s, early part of the 1990s, somewhere in there. And this uh, uh, it could have been late 80s, but I'm thinking I'm thinking early to mid 90s. I'm thinking it's what happened. <coughs> I really don't pay attention to a lot of stuff about the year that things take. Some people do, I don't, okay? <laughs> so, <coughs> it's just not important to me. So, um, anyways, uh, it, and it was another one of those days where the clouds were coming and just hanging over and still no rain. I don't know how many weeks, it been weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks with no rain. And uh, and I kind of felt the Lord unctioning me to go start that fire. I mean, it was like an exciting thing. And I went out and I started the fire. Now, now I'm not sure about the technology of this thing, but I just knew something in me told me if I started that fire, because those clouds were hanging, it appeared to me that they were coming down to like almost a point like a mountain top, you know, but coming down toward me, and it might have been my imagination, but and I started a fire, and I, just some of the enemies was telling me if I started that fire, the heat would go up, stir those clouds, and cause the rain to start coming out, and 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 I, I believe it was the Lord who showed me that, and. When I did that, I mean, I started a big fire. Man, those flames were leaping up probably uh, 10, 10 feet in the air or so, you know. Big, huge, big round fire. And uh, the heat went up and I seen it go up. And right where the, right where the, where the smoke and the heat was like going up into the cloud, it started raining right there. From that point out, it started raining, just spread everywhere. 
And I thought, you know, I've thought before about that a couple of times. And I thought, well, that's like the Lord sending down the rain, you know. But God's going to, just like that day, God's going to send a man to start the thing off. The Lord is going to provide the power and the rain, but God still needs a man so that he can cause this thing to, to begin to happen. Take somebody who will stand in the gap and start the fire and believe God for it. That's, that's all you, we, that's all I have to do. That's all we have, all you have to do is believe God for it, start the rain, start the fire, and let God send down the rain. Amen. I don't, you know what? I don't know if that, I don't think that fire got all the way burned up, but um, I was sure glad to see that rain. I mean, it hit the news. You <laughs> know, that's what happens when um, you obey God. You make the news. You know, you make the nightly news. And uh, it turns the world on its ear. Everybody grabs a piece of the action when God sends down the blessing. But very few, few people want to grab a piece of the action to send the fire up to God. <laughs> you know what I mean? They've got every reason in the world why they don't want to believe. I mean, there's, there's people probably going to watch this and say, yeah, sure. Okay. I hear you now. But see, I was there, and I know. And I'm, I'm like the those apostles in the New Testament. All I can tell you is what I have seen and heard, you know. And yeah, if you're found to be a man of truth, there'd be more people to believe you. And I hope that I am truly a man of truth, because you know the Lord lives in my heart. And God is about love, and He's about kindness, and He's about telling people truth, and He's He's not about imagining things that happen. Uh, that's not that's not who God is. If you'll look back over my videos, man, you'll see nothing out of the contrary uh, to the to the Bible. You 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 won't see anything out of vogue as far as the Bible is concerned. Everything that I told you. All my 300 plus videos, everything in there, I challenge you, go back and look, find one thing that I can't back up in the Bible, you know. I know there's a lot of theology and all that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm not a heretic. I only do and say those things that God unctions me to do and say, amen, so that when I, when God lights me up when he illuminates when he lifts me up that way I can be assured see I'm not jumping out before him like Moses did and pray to God I'm not jumping out after him either you know like some like King Saul did ran and hid himself even though the Lord had called him to be king but I want to go exactly at the right time you know when God calls me to go when I know that it's God when I know that he speaks and I want to have everything right and I want to say that ice is coming as sure as God is uh, in heaven as sure as God is speaking to me there's some ice coming to southern Ohio alright God bless you we'll see you again thanks for joining me next time right here at Crossing the Middle Ministry